Welcome to lesson number four. I would like us to look at the chromosome in relation to gamete formation process. Chromosome is a thread-like structure which is found inside the nucleus of a cell. It contains a deoxyribonucleic acid. Let me write it on the board. Deoxyribonucleic acid is abbreviated as DNA. This is the hereditary material that is found inside the nucleus of a cell and it is contained on the surface of the chromosome. Each chromosome is made up of two parallel strands which I refer to as the sister chromatids. I hope you are able to see here. It has been indicated the name of these two parallel strands over here. They are joined at a point known as centromere. And along the strand of each chromosome, there are various genes which are located there. And these are genes that control different characteristics that are found in different individuals. These chromosomes may be having, uh, may be having different structures, different genetic materials, and they always appear in pairs. Chromosomes which have got the same size, shape, and structure are referred to as homologous chromosomes. Let me write it here again. Homologous chromosomes are the chromosomes with the same size, shape, and structure. As much as they may be having the same size, shape, and structure, they may be having different genetic contents. So that you find that they look alike, but in case they come into contact with one another, whatever I call association, they will be able to exchange genetic materials. And these genetic materials that are exchanged during the process of crossing over is referred uh, are the ones that are responsible for the variation that are always arising amongst the individuals within a population who will be origin who might be originating from the same parent. I have said um, during the process of uh, reproduction, each parent gives out a single pair of the a, a single pair of the homologous chromosomes. So if these chromosomes are two in number, let me just use letter X's to represent them. If these two chromosomes were found in the body of an individual, during the process of reproduction, that individual is going to give out this single chromosome and the other one as well, if it was containing another uh, different chromosomes. Let me use X, Y to represent this. This individual will give out a single, a single chromosome from this pair. This one also gives a single one. Hence, they will fuse to form a single zygote which have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. But all in all, I'll come into that uh, into those details later on. There is something that I would like to make clear right about now. Different animals have different number of chromosomes through, uh, number of chromosomes in their cells. In we human beings, we have got 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. Therefore, if somebody says that we have 46 chromosomes within each cell in our bodies, that will be absolutely true. These 23 pair of chromosomes, a single pair is sex chromosome. 
That one we refer to it as a gamete. The 22 pairs which remain are the somatic chromosomes, or you can call them the body chromosomes. Single sex chromosome over here, this single pair, meaning they are two, this single pair over here determines the sex of an individual. They are the ones which determine either if you are a male or a female. These 22 pairs which are remaining are the ones that are de uh, determining the other body characteristics such as the body size, weight of an individual, the skin color, behavioral factors among others. And therefore, in the process of reproduction, each parent will give out a gamete which comprises of half the number of chromosomes that are required in the body and the other parents give out half as well so that an, uh, the resulting zygote will be having the required number of chromosomes. For example, in we hu human beings, the parent should be having 46 chromosomes. Those are 44, which determine the general body characteristics, while the remaining two, those ones are the ones that determine the sex of an individual. Amongst these uh, 46, during the process of gamete formation, there will be production of 23 chromosomes, there will be production of uh, there will be division process which results into production of gametes which contain 23 chromosomes in them. Remember this uh, this is the parent. Maybe let me say that this is the female. Let me say this is the female or the mother. Then this one here. Let me talk about the male as well here. For the case of the male. It is also having 46 chromosomes in the body and these 46 chromosomes they may also disintegrate they will also segregate to leave which and this leads to formation of two gametes each one of them with 23 chromosomes in them these 23 chromosomes will pair up with these other 23 chromosomes which originate from this other parent. So, this parent has got, uh, there is a probability of giving out these pairs over here, or these ones. If we give out one of them, let me say this is the ovum, and this one here, let me say that it's the sperm cell, Let me just draw it to make it appear like a sperm cell. This is the nucleus and when this sperm cell fuses with this ovum over here, there is a formation of a single zygote which contains 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes now forms the offspring, offspring rather. An offspring will be containing 46 chromosomes, just like the parents. And later on, when the offspring matures as well, it will also go through the process of meiotic cell division, that is now the gamete of this offspring, and during meiosis, there will be formation of gametes, which comprise half the number of chromosomes as the, par uh, the, as the parent cell, and as a result, it will be, if it is a male, it will produce sperm cells and each nucleus of a sperm cell comprises of 23 chromosomes in it. And if it is a female, it will form the ovum. And within each ovum, 
there are 23 chromosomes and these 23 chromosomes between the two 23 chromosomes in the sperm cell and 23 chromosomes which are found within the nucleus of the sperm cell will be few will fuse in the process of reproduction hence leading to formation of a single cell of uh, leading to formation of a single unique cell called the zygote and which will develop later to form an embryo until it forms an organism and therefore i would like to mark the end of our lesson number four let's meet in lesson five whereby i'll be talking about the cell division process thank you for watching the video remember to subscribe to the video thank you